find the mode. Okay, here we have a whole bunch of numbers. We have 11, 5, 6, 5, 4, 16, 16, 16, 20, and 11. All right, so I'm just going to put them in order from smallest to largest. 4, 5, 6, 6, 11, 11, 16, 16, 16, 20. And we just want to find the one that appears the most often. Now the 5 appears twice, the 11 appears twice, the 16 appears three times. So the one that appears most, mo, mo, most often is going to be 16. Okay, so 16 is the mode. So it's just the most frequent of all your numbers. Okay, now that was an easy one because there's just one mode, right? And these ones doubled, but this one would appear triple three times. So that's why we pick 16. Okay, let's look at this situation. Find the mode. Okay, so once again, I put them in order. So the 1 comes up twice, the 12, the 13 comes up twice, and that's it. Okay, so that means you have two modes. This is a bimodal distribution. It means it has two numbers that are tied for the most even. Okay, so 1 and 13 is going to be the mode. Okay, and here's a situation where we've got all kinds of numbers repeating. So let's have a look. We have 7, 7, 8, 10, 10, 12, 12, 16, 18, 20. Okay, so we've got a pair of sevens, a pair of tens, a pair of twelves. So we end up with a trimodal distribution. There are three modes here, seven, eight, and twelve. Okay, and that's it for mode. Have a good day. Oh, by the way, if you don't have any number that comes up at all, like it's just infrequent, um, then you say that you have no mode. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, in this situation, here we have 4, 13, 19, 20, 16, 7, 14, 21, and 3. And notice nothing repeats, right? If I put it in order, I have 3, 4, 7, 13, 14, 16, 19, 20, 21. There's no repeaters, okay? So there's nothing that comes up most often. In that case, if you ask for the mode, you just say there is none. No mode, okay? Or just write none. All right, and that's it for the mode. Have a good day.